Meat Boy is definitely not back because today we are making nut milk. And, you know, with all the beef I go through, the meat company, I figured let's balance the yin with the yang today. And I know the vegan fairy boys in the comments are getting so excited. Oh my god, nut milk from Frank Tefano. I can die happy tonight being, oh, well, let's not get into details. Uh, but some of you might remember, you know, two, three years ago, uh, we made a video on how to make properly fermented oat milk with a traditional Scottish method that was actually used to make one of their porridges called Samhain's. And that was a much, much healthier version of oat milk made with organic ingredients, reducing the anti-nutrient content. The same principle here, except this is a much less arduous process. And what really triggered me to do this was I was looking at the almond breeze my sister was drinking earlier this week. And I went through all these options in the supermarket for nut milks. And, and there's really nothing that I would consider drinking. Uh, so macadamia nuts are much lower in omega-6. They're predominantly omega-9, so that removes a lot of the oxidation concerns. It's mostly saturated fat. And I think you can actually make something healthy with this. And what I have in mind today is like a weight gain shake. Because when you add milk, when you add dairy to something, you know, if you're intolerant, it can be hard to gain weight without dairy. Uh, so I think this is something that's going to help me gain some weight. And for anyone else that is currently not tolerating dairy, a great, great option to add it to dishes or recipes or whatever. Only downside is macadamia nuts are much more expensive than other nuts, but still in the context of how much milk you're getting, it's, it's not really that much. So let's show you guys how I do this. As with any nut milk recipe, we have macadamia nuts and we have some water. In this scenario, it's probably the highest quality nut milk that will ever be made using organic macadamia nuts and you know, glass bottled mineral water. I have some roasted macadamia nuts and some raw macadamia nuts uh, sitting in water. We're gonna see which one tastes better. I have a feeling it's the roasted. And I put a little bit of salt in this water to reduce the anti-nutrient content even further, although it's not as big of a deal in macadamia nuts. And to make this, you know, like a vanilla sweetened milk, we're gonna do some organic cane sugar with vanilla and even maybe another pinch of salt in the milk. So we know nuts are incredibly calorically dense. So one quarter cup of macadamia nuts is 220 calories. This whole container is roughly 1,320 calories worth of you know, macadamia nuts. It's quite a bit. And I put one of these containers in each of these glass cups with about a cup of water to soak in. And this is enough for five to six cups of macadamia nut milk. I'm just gonna strain them off. And what the straining do is it softens the nut so that when you blend it up, it's not like crumbly and textured. And you wanna do this overnight or at least a couple hours. I think macadamia nuts are different than most where they don't have to be soaked as long. With those macadamia nuts, we wanna have about five cups of water in here. Now a cup of milk has 13 grams of sugar, which I think is quite a bit. And since this is very high in fat, I'm not gonna add as much as that, but uh, two teaspoons of organic cane sugar is eight grams of carb. So I think we're gonna go for maybe eight per cup. So we want 40 grams of sugar in this whole thing, which is gonna be about two and a half tablespoons of sugar. There's a tiny pinch of salt to bring out all the flavors, a dash of vanilla extract, and another dash of vanilla bean powder. And I'm gonna put this on high for about two minutes and we'll see how it looks. All right, so this went for a few minutes and you definitely don't wanna stand by this while it's running because it does emit a type of magnetic radiation. So this is just a cheesecloth over a strainer. Now the only thing I was worried about is I'm not sure the Ninja blender is that great for this. You might need like a really powerful high speed blender to, to puree the macadamia nut enough that you don't have that much waste. The main reason to use the cheesecloth or like a towel so you can bundle it up and squeeze all the liquid out. Now what's left in this bag you know, it is quite a bit of volume of those macadamia nuts. Uh, so maybe you could put these back in the oven, dry them out a little more, make some type of yogurt with them, uh, even keep, heap it in the, the nut milk and just shake it up and drink it with the solids in there because you're losing a lot of calories. I would say at least half of the calories are being strained out. So I'm gonna pour this into one of the bottles. All right, same exact process this time, except I'm gonna use the roasted macadamia nuts. I mean, this excess stuff would be great for like a candy bar as one of the layers. I'm sure someone can steal that idea from me. It's not like someone would actually fund me a few hundred thousand to start my own macadamia nut milk company. So we have the raw and the cooked. Surprisingly, 
not that expensive because I'm sure if this was in the supermarket, they'd charge you just about as much for as much macadamia nut milk. So the raw tastes pretty good. The cook tastes better, but it literally tastes like, you know, caramelized macadamia nuts. And it's a little thicker. I think when you cook and heat the macadamia nuts, they break up a lot easier in the blender. Yeah, it's no brainer on this one. Definitely brown them in the oven a little bit. Really delicious. I actually like it a lot. Now, Frank, why are you showing us how to make nut milk? As I think I stated earlier, if your family insists on using this stuff, if you're intolerant to dairy, this is a great, delicious option. I might make some like prebiotic smoothies with this. You know, take some bananas and, and blend it up with this milk and you have a really, really nice smoothie. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Calorie wise, it might not even be half of what we put in there because of, you know, the amount of waste of the nuts is pretty substantial, but you know, there might be some ways with a higher powered blender, extended soaking times, like you soak for a day, you blend it up, you soak it for another day, you blend it up. But, but the overarching concern here is how much are we actually oxidizing and damaging the fats when we blend this up. But it's definitely 100 times better than anything in the supermarket right now, you know, even if you're putting a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vanilla in there. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've liked this video and some of you can benefit from this. So please leave a comment down below, drop a like, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. We have about 30 water kefir in stock for you guys, so it's probably gonna sell out pretty quickly, so definitely place an order before Monday or Tuesday if you guys would actually like to try out uh, the probiotic water kefir. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.